um, to uh, do the experiment so first you need to take the component I think uh, all of you know how to do it now so I'm not going much in detail I'll directly go to the you know uh, this uh, circuit so uh, uh, type diode so you can see here diode is available here so put in here mm. of course you can uh, you can little bit you know you can rotate it uh, you can so you can put it in this direction right and then you can uh, put a resistor here um, res again as i mentioned you need to take as uh, uh, no? uh, uh, you need to take 200 ohm resistance so take 200 ohm resistance 200 ohms and now again take a voltage source Now uh, connect connect them, right? You can just connect them. <clears throat> Again, uh, then you know connect the ground, right? So once this is done, now you need to pick the diode. So that uh, so if you go here, if you just click it. Uh, then this is your diode so just pick new diode right so if you go there you'll directly see that uh, this is uh, uh, 1N4148 this is for on semiconductor like that uh, this is the manufacturer and this is a silicon kind of diode and in fact the uh, you can get all the details here like the model parameters but that we don't have to go through it see the when you just hover the you know this mouse pointer you'll see uh, that all the most parameters have uh, this uh, parameters of this uh, 4148 uh, has come but it's not required you just press ok and you know this diode is selected right I just name this to uh, this one nets so name it as you know you can go to draft net name just type and name it as x not x not y because we want to plot the potential difference across the diode d1 so I need to, uh, it's always handy to name these uh, two nodes so that I can uh, calculate this v, potent, this uh, potential at Vx and the potential at maybe this net, if I name it as Y, then you know, uh, Vx minus Vy will give the potential difference across my diode D1. So, right? So if I type Vx minus Vy, it will give the potential difference across the diode D1 and then you know uh, of course the i can easily calculate the current passing through it right. now the next is we need to go for dc uh, dc sweep kind of uh, uh, operating point analysis so uh, if you go to the spice directive so i think you know like uh, you are already aware of the spice directive so i need to vary this voltage v1 such that I get the variation across these X and Y. So for that, uh, you just can right click here, you can help me edit, go to analysis command. Of course the same stuff uh, that comes up, uh, which you have done previously for the DC point and transient and SC analysis. Today we will be doing the DC sweep. So DC sweep is basically, uh, we are trying to sweep the voltage uh, and see the variation so basically we will be if you see here we will be again uh, we will be sweeping this voltage v1 right v1 uh, will sweep maybe from you know 0.3 to 1.5 volt uh, with a step size of maybe 50 millivolt so what you can do is again go to the analysis command uh, this is sweep so we are sweeping v1 right and we want to sweep it linearly basically linear linear uh, and then we want to go from 0.3 volt and stop maybe 
5 volt right and maybe increment we can take uh, 0 0.05 I think that should be good enough or let's even start with some sm smaller voltage 0 0.2 and then press ok so once you press ok you have this uh, command or the spice directive and you can just place it in the uh, schematic so basically it's a uh, DC uh, operating point analysis where I am varying the value of V1 from 0 0.2 to 1.5 volt with an increment of 0 0.05 volt means 50 millivolt like that. Now just uh, run the uh, this one run the analysis so my this uh, analysis window has come up of course now there is no still there is no plot so what I will do is uh, I'll be plotting the current across D1 right D1 now if I see the plot it has given some kind of you know exponential plot but remember this plot is not correct this plot is not correct because this plot is giving a plot uh, it's it's just showing me a plot uh, which is showing the current i d1 by varying the voltage v1 so this x axis is my v1 and uh, this y axis is my id current so y axis is correct because i want the current uh, through this id1 but x axis is not correct because I don't want the potential uh, difference across this one. I rather I want the potential difference across the diode, right? I want V X minus V Y. This potential difference across the diode. Then it will give you the exact characteristics, right? Because this uh, this potential currently it is showing the potential difference across V one, which is the uh, summation of the potential difference across the diode D one and also the resistor, you know. Uh, this R1 right but I want the potential difference across uh, diode D1 which is Vx minus Vy so for that what you need to do you need to just do a simple thing right so what you can what you need to do here is you just need to right click the um, x axis and it is showing that uh, an option to edit the x axis so there you just type Vx minus v y so basically what i'm trying to do here is i'm just trying to you know um, uh, uh, calculate the uh, i'm just plotting the potential difference across the diode right uh, the potential across the diode the, the uh, difference between v x and v y and then if we if i just plot it uh, this curves come of course uh, the uh, you see that, that all the graphs has vanished so just to uh, just you just need to zoom it out and you know by clicking here and then you see you have this bit uh, curve like exponential curve uh, which is you know uh, starting from you know like uh, uh, which is starting from very low value and it is increasing so you can see here if you can if you just uh, put the slope here so this the, the value here is around you know you can say that it is 600 millivolt so in fact if you want you can even increase this value even if i further increase it i can even further increase it uh, so that i can get a more proper one of this uh, current voltage if i again uh, plot it so yeah now it is little more clearly visible so it is around you know it is around uh, this uh, 650 something like that so you can you know <coughs> do this analysis like that so if you if required you, you can even plot the uh, log of this one ln of this one then you can get more clear idea so for that you can just again again you can uh, click here y axis so y axis instead of just plotting ind i can uh, put um, log of this one ln so if i click here okay then you can see here uh, uh, in one of the in one of the uh, experiment you need this information so you may have to plot uh, this one log of this one so you can type different expression here plot it like that so 